Uh, thank you for your friendship, and it's really great. Um, the first time I've ever worn a tux, and, <laughs> uh, and we're all together, and it's really beautiful. And also, thank you for bringing Kate into our lives. She's really great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah. also, I, I want to say there are all kinds of reasons that you're in love. There's like, uh, you're cool, she's beautiful, you're successful, but that's not what it's about. It's about that you're in love, and um, that's really something. And that you are embarking on this adventure, and today you're going to say, I do. And you're going to say, for better or worse, uh, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, <laughs> and billions of people have said, I do. But saying I do is really as big as it gets. And you're doing it today. And um, I've learned from my own father, who was married for 56 years, and really stood up to his vows, and has the emotional strength to, after 56 years having lost his wife, to carry on and still love her romantically every day that it's possible. And uh, uh, outrageous for fortune did not spare them any slings and arrows. And they made it through, and my dad is still happy, and my mother died happy. And uh, I'm optimistic that it's not going to be challenging like that for you, because you and Kate are very different people, and you're charmed. And I have great faith in that. But I do want to read one little thing, <coughs> if I may. Um, it's Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. And it's beautiful. And I want you to carry this with you. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not love, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profiteth me nothing. Love suffereth long, and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Do not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoice, rejoiceth not in iniquity, <coughs> rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part, part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. There you go, buddy. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Nicely done.